Something that happened last time from my adult body. I felt so bad about pretending it never happened, so I decided to write to you one last time. Ooh. Oh, the ooh. Did she get to rebirth? I hope she did. Because I'll feel bad. What I'm wondering is like, why does... Oh my goodness. Ignore that, everyone. <laughs> um... Why does Tani refer to uh, Hammerick as her older self? They're not. That's not her older self. That's an entirely different person, almost like a parasite, taking over her body. Small letters are, in, are scribbled on the outside of the envelope in Tani's handwriting. This is kind of embarrassing, so don't open it until you're alone. Seriously, open the envelope. You carefully open the envelope. Strangely, there appears to be nothing inside. Your confusion lasts only a moment before you notice her surroundings have suddenly grown quiet. But then, it's not quiet, she's yelling. Whoa! Tanny! 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 Wow. I look just like I did before. Oh my god, I'm crying. Hello. Hello, Hina. You came in at a very weird moment, like I'm emotional right now because <laughs> of Tanny. But yes, I remember you from Kick. I watch your stream sometimes. I'm sorry, I cannot even begin to read that name. I only see like the parentheses of what like Twitch gives me, but I just see a lot of characters. Maybe they're definitely Chinese derived. Yeah, I can't read that. I don't know how to. <laughs> but hello. How are you? Wow, I look just like I did before. I guess I don't call them gods for nothing. Anyway. Hey, uh, looks like you opened my letter just the way I told you to. Wait a second. W where are you again? Over here, right? <gasps> Tanny scrunches up her face as she scoots closer to you. Hmm. Can't really see you all that well. But at least I can tell you're- I'm sorry, like, I, for some reason I'm crying and I don't even know why. <laughs> I just love Tani and I just feel like- Aw, oh, man. She, she was just so dirty. Can't really see you all that well, but at least I can tell you're somewhere in front of me and that's what counts. I hate to be a downer, but I'm slowly losing the strength even more. And as hard as I try to remember things, I can't. It's like there are little bugs skittering around in my head, making my memories all fuzzy. But you know what? The last thoughts I had were about you. That's right. Are you surprised? Gosh, I was so out of it. I couldn't even tell what I was feeling all the time. You know, I think there was a little part of me that wished I could be like you. I wanted to make good friends and travel the world with them. Swing lots of cool, powerful weapons, wear all the trendiest clothes. But then my link to the soul stream was severed. And just like that, I had nowhere to really belong. I wasn't in a Malaysian anymore, and I wasn't a part of this world either. That's when the god who took over my body first spoke to me. She said she'd give me another chance. At first, I wasn't sure if that was even possible. But there was something she said about not deviating from the rules. I don't quite remember what it was. Still kind of hazy on remembering important stuff gods say. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how much time I've got, so I'm just gonna say it. Here goes. That god told me that she'd let me live in Eren again. Woo! Yes! She said something about wanting to repay me for using my body. So I said, you got a, you, <laughs> so I said, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I also asked if I could be taller and more sophisticated next time around. I won't be a Malaysian anymore though, and I don't think I'll get to pick what I'm going to look like after I'm reborn. But I think the way that God looked when she was possessing my body was pretty close to my ideal. So hopefully I get to have all that va va voom Tanny seems to be oddly focused on the idea as she plays with her hair. Anyways, 
I wanted to meet with you one last time the way you've always known me. So she went ahead and set things so it could happen. I asked her I asked her if when the time came I could be reborn in a place I've never been before. So it might be all while before I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so upset. I want to like read it properly, but <sighs> I guess there's a lot of reasons why I like Tanny. Okay. So it might be a while before we meet again. But then again, who knows whether I'll still have my memories of you. But you won't forget me, will you? You'll remember that quirky little Malaysian named Tanny. Of course I will, girl. And that she played a part in your story. That she meant something, right? I will. You choked down a little lump on your in your throat, giving Tanny a quiet nod. Hearing you say that is enough for me. Tanny crosses her arms, still talking to you. You hear the sound of her voice be begin to grow muffled and fuzzy. Whew. Well, I guess this is it. The last time I'll ever see or walk or talk or do anything in this little body of mine. But we'll meet again someday, right? Yeah, what am I saying? Of course we will. As long as you keep exploring Erin, if you're ever traveling to some distant land and you spy a fair maiden who reminds you of old Tanny, be sure to say hello. I mean, you'll never know. Even if I don't recognize you at first, seeing you might just be what I need to jog my memory. That would sure be fun, huh? It'd be like one of those destined reunions. Tanny's image wanes, growing more faint by the moment. I guess my time's up, so goodbye for now. Until we meet again, take care and good luck. The strange sensation you felt before is gone. Slowly, the noises of the surrounding area returns to your ears. Nothing remains in the spot where Tanny once stood. The silence that hung over the area is broken as the surroundings slowly return to life. Though the workings of Hammerick's, through the workings of Hammerick's power, Tanny will be reborn somewhere in Erin. You feel certain that if you continue your adventures, you'll meet her again someday, out there in the world. <sighs> those you have protected and those who have walked with you you know you'll see them all again, sometime, somewhere, reminiscing on the faces of all the precious souls you've come to know through the eternal cycle of time. But now, at last, the long night that seemed as though it might never end is over. As a new dawn rises, you feel that as long as your friends remain by your side, like they always have, you'll be able to face the future with courage in your heart.